Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back to another Thrift Store Thursday. I am so happy you stopped by today because it's going to be a little bit different today. So I've been wanting to do a giveaway on my channel for a very long time just to say thank you for coming and hanging out with me and to being a subscriber of mine and for leaving me wonderful comments and to just being part of this wonderful experience of YouTube for me, which I love so so very much. So, I've been thinking about how I wanted to do this and I have come up with an idea from the comments that I received, mostly from comments on Thrift Store Thursdays, and it kind of planted a little seed. So I'm going to do this giveaway just a little bit different than most people do giveaways and I hope you guys think it's okay. I'm not sure how it's going to be received, but let me explain what my thought process was. I get comments from subscribers all the time saying I wish they could go shopping with me. They think I find the most amazing things at the thrift stores and on and on that sort of thing. So I thought in my little head that it would be fun to go shopping and pick up items that I would use in my own home that I think are cool and instead of using them in my house to make a giveaway with those items. Does that make sense? <laughs> Hopefully I'm explaining it right. I'm so excited. I don't feel like I can explain it very well. But basically what I've been doing the last month or so when I go to the thrift stores is I have been keeping my eye out for items that obviously I would love to have in my home. But instead of keeping them, I have grouped them together into two giveaways. So I'm going to have a second place winner and a first place winner. I have my windows open, I just realized, and I hope there's not too much background noise because I just thought I had a dump truck go by and yeah, but I don't want to close the windows. So hopefully it's not too terrible. Anyways, getting back to what I'm saying. So I will be having a giveaway. I'm going to have two separate giveaways, a first place winner and a second place winner. And so in order to be considered for the giveaway, I'd like to have two things from you. First of all, be a subscriber to my channel, which most of you probably are already. And number two, leave me a comment and let me know when you go to the thrift store, what one single item are you always looking for? And that is it. You have until next Wednesday, which is the 29th of August at 11 a.m. to enter the giveaway. So, what is in the giveaway? That's the most exciting part. I'm so excited! So first of all, I will show you the second place winner items that I have grouped together to send off to a happy winner. And yeah, we'll start from there and then we'll go on into the first place winner. So all of these items, like I said, I picked up at the thrift store and they are all items that I think are really super cool and I would like to use them in my house. I did throw in to each um, gift um, something that I picked up at the thrift store ages ago and I have yet to use it and I'm like, I don't think I'm going to use it. I'm going to give them away instead. So I'll let you know what that item is when I get to it. So the very first thing that I picked up for the second place winner is this cute little picture. Isn't it cute? I just love, you know, I love my pictures, but this one is super adorable. It's got nice little detailing on the handles and it's got some ribbing along here. And it's just so cute. It's a cute little size, probably five, six inches tall. And I just thought it was adorable. This would be a good side for like a bedside table or maybe in the bathroom, something like that, with some little flowers in it. I just thought it was adorable. So that is the first item. The next item is this Christmas, is this plate. Now I think I might have showed this plate in a haul, but I can't remember. It's by Spode of England. And it is this right here. It's a blue and white plate. It's kind of got like a Christmas print. It's got a little snowy scene in the middle. A little holly berries and little pine cones sprigs along the outside. And I just think it is super cool. But I don't use blue and white at Christmas. So I thought this would be a good thing to include. I think it is very cool. Um... It's called Winter's Eve, made in England, and it's by Spode. So yeah, I just think that is so pretty. 
and I think it is so cute, but I really wish I wore, um, used blue and white at Christmas, but I just don't think I'm ever going to use it, so I might as well pass it along. So the next item for the second place winner is this adorable gravy boat and little tray that it sits on. Isn't it pretty? But the best part about this is that it's Ironstone. The gravy boat itself says made in England. Isn't it pretty? I love the little design. Very classic. Nice little handle. It's in pretty good shape. There's no crazing or anything. And like I said, the bottom says made in England. And then the little gravy dish that goes underneath it has the same sort of ribbing and scalloped edge and the back of it says Johnson Brothers made in England it's Ironstone and it's the Snow White Regency pattern so I just thought this was super cool and I have to tell you I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting rid of this one because I like this one a lot I have a lot of the Snow White Regency um, Ironstone but I already have a gravy boat but it just doesn't have the little tray underneath it so I don't really need to. So I thought this was a really cool thing. And if you are into Ironstone like I am, I think you'll like this. <laughs> Alright. And then, so then of course I had to throw in a little bit of milk glass. And of course because I was looking for milk glass, I have been having a really hard time the last couple of weeks finding milk glass. But I did manage to find one piece and it is a bud vase which, in a really cool design which I have never seen before. It's got like this rectangled bottom and then it's got like this swooshing. Can you see that? Detail here. A little bit of a scallop at the top. I just thought it was very unique. And I know a lot of people like the bud bases. And yeah, I just thought it was really neat. There is no markings on the bottom. Wait, wait, wait. Well, what does it say? I cannot read it. Randall maybe? I don't know. Anyways, I just thought it was really cool, very unique, and who doesn't need a bud face? I mean, a couple little a couple of hydrangea in there, single hydrangea stem will look amazing in this. So yeah, well, that is the next thing for the second place. And then the final thing for this second place winner is the item that I threw in that I've had for a long time, and you may remember this from a haul way back when. It's probably been a year since I found this. Or maybe I found it back in the spring. I don't remember. But it's something that is very popular right now. And it is a macrame plant hanger. It's really long. So I'm just going to kind of show you. It's got this big ring on the top. A nice little macrame there. Little knots. Let's see. And then it's got these little ropes. Little beads. More roping detail. This thing is really long. More beads. And then finally, down here at the bottom is where you put the pot. And then it's got little tassels. So anyways, I just thought this was really cool. I know macrame items are really popular right now. And this is a nice off-white color. And I thought the beads in it were really cool. And very reminiscent of the old-time macrame, if you guys remember it. Like, my mom used to do macrame with, and they always put the beads, like bright colored beads in it. This one is much more muted and pretty. So, yeah. So that is the last item in the second place giveaway package, if that makes sense. All right. So the first place winner is all the stuff I'm going to show you now. And we'll start with another macrame hanger, which I threw in because I'm not using, and I think this one is super cool too. This one starts like this. Some little tassels, hanging little thread, some braided things, and then goes down into four pieces. Has a, ah, it's so tall I can't hold it. Has a plant holder right here. Then it goes down into more braiding. Ah, oh no, it's all messed up. I'm got it all tangled. There we go. More braiding. And then it has a second holder area for a second plant and then a little tassel at the end like that 
So I just think they're so cute. I love these so much. But I don't know where what to do with them. I don't really think they really fit my style very much. But I know people use them all the time. So that's the first thing. The second thing is... Ooh. So the second thing is this pretty little platter right here. Isn't it gorgeous? I love the cheerful flowers on them. They're so bright and cheerful looking. I think it is so cool. There are no markings on the back of this plate, but these colors on here just spoke to me. I thought they were so pretty. Can you see that? Got some hot pink, some blue, some orange, some yellow, a little bit of greenery. I think it's gorgeous. So there's that plate. Then I have one other plate, and it is this one right here. I love these like mid-century plates. So pretty. This one has a purple flower in the middle, and then there's little gold edging along the outside. And I wish there was two of these. I looked high and low for the sec another one to go with this, but they only had one, which I thought was really sad. But I thought the plate itself was very pretty and I wasn't going to pass it up. So that is cool. Let's see. Cunningham and Pickett Incorporated hand decorated something carrot gold. Too little to read. <laughs> and it was made in Ohio. Looks like maybe the pattern name is Stardust. I'm not really sure. But anyways, I thought it was very pretty. I'm really drawn to the purples lately. So that is really pretty. And that is part of the giveaway. The next thing, obviously, we need a ironstone pitcher. Right? Absolutely. So, I found this one right here. Ooh, it's so pretty. This one is very classic shape. It is by Homer Lachlan. And it is in pretty good condition. It's got a little bit of discoloring along the top. Um, it's starting to turn a little yellow. But for the most part, there's no chips or anything on this one. And I just think it's perfect. And it's the perfect little size. It's not too big, not too small. And there, you can do a lot with this. So I thought that... Oh wait, there is a little bit of like discoloration right here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. I just saw it myself. But yeah, it's all good if you like ironstone. So yeah, I love this. And it's got the very classic little knob on the top of the handle. Very classic looking. So of course I thought that would be a good thing to include. Then the next thing, <laughs> there's a lot of white dishes. I think it's so funny. Because you all know how much I love my white dishes. And like I said, I picked up stuff that I would use in my own home and this next little set is no exception I found two little teacups and saucers aren't they pretty I love them so much they have got like, like this modern flair to them in that the cup is kind of square and it's got a nice little ribbing along the outside can you see that design I think it's very classic but yet kind of modern at the same time it's got a nice little curvy handle, with a little couple little, you know, I don't know what you call those little decorations on there. And it just says England on the bottom of the cup. But the saucer, as you can see, it's got the same sort of ribbing that the side of the cup had. And the back of it reads traditional ironstone, Leeds Alfred Meekin, England. So both of these little teacups and saucers are ironstone. I'm so excited. I love me some ironstone. And these are super duper cute. And then I was looking a little farther down the line and I found the little creamer that goes with it. I wish I could have found the sugar bowl that matched this but they didn't have it I looked everywhere and I looked at like all the dish aisle again but they didn't have it but they did have the creamer so I just think it's adorable you can use this as a little mini pitcher I mean look how cute these would be together so cute anyways this one has the same little ribbing along the bottom section of it, it has the same little handle 
that the cup has, and at the bottom it does say, Traditional Ironstone, Leeds, Alfred Meakin, England. So, I am very excited about this little set. I think it is super cute, and who doesn't like Ironstone? Well, I'm sure there's people out there that don't, but I like it a lot. So those, all those are included also. And then, of course, you know, I was looking for some, um, milk glass. I was having a hard time, like I said, finding some milk glass. But I did find some at the very end. I stopped into one thrift store, and this was the only thing that I picked up. And it was this right here. Now, I have found another one. I have another one just like this that I picked up not too long ago. And I was so excited because I just think it is so adorable. So, of course, I contemplated keeping this so then I'd have a pair. But I have a lot of pairs of iron soap. So, I decided to go ahead and put this into the mix, too. I like this because it's got this cute little petite size. But it kind of looks like an urn in the fact that it's got this nice little pedestal. And then it's got the diamond um, design on the middle section. And then on the top, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's got like this little ribbing on it. So I just thought this was super duper cute. This thing is heavy, even though it's little. I'm wondering if maybe at some time this had like a lid on it for like a candy dish. But obviously at this point it does not, but I think it is so cute. These make perfect little candle holders. You put your pillow candle in it and it's awesome because it just fills up the bottom of the bowl when it, you know, if it, the wax leaks over or whatever and of course they look adorable so I love to use mine for a candle holder and yeah and I'm sure there's a bazillion other ways you could use this but that's how I use mine so that is included with the first place winner and then I found this really cool thing all right so the next thing I picked up is super cool and I think it is so neat and it is this little plant stand right here isn't it cute it's probably only about two inches tall, but I love it so much because of this little edging along the outside. I think it is so cool. It reminds me of like very like it should be very vintage, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Very vintage, anyways. But I just think it is so cool, and this would come in handy if you have pots of flowers and that sort of thing. So I thought that was really cool. And then, of course, I had to find some silver items because it's coming into fall and I love me some silver and I love tarnished silver even more. So I found a few items and they're kind of like minis, which is even more fun. So the first thing I picked up was this little bowl right here. It's got a little pedestal and then it's a little bowl. It's got some nice detailing along the outside here. As you can see, it's very tarnished, which I think is amazing. I know some people won't like that it's so tarnished, but you can clean it up. It does look like it's in still really good condition. There's no like pitting or anything. There is no markings on the back, so I'm assuming it is just silver plated, but I just thought it was super cute and would look really nice with like a little pumpkin sitting in it or something like that for the fall. So I thought that was really neat. So cool. So then the next thing I picked up is another little mini. It's even more mini. And it is this little guy right here. It's like a little mini trophy bowl. I don't know what you would call it. but Or it's probably like an ice cream bowl or a sherbet bowl or something like that. But it's so cute. It's got this little pedestal. Kind of like this one does here. And then it's just a small little bowl. It's so cute. I think it's adorable. This one also does not have any markings on it, so I'm assuming it is the same as just silver plated. And as you can see, it's beautifully tarnished <laughs> and in pretty good condition. I think it'll clean up well if that's the sort of thing you like to do. Like this one is almost too tarnished for me because it's turning that blue color. Do you know what I mean? So this one, if it were mine, I would... um clean it up and let it retarnish <laughs> if that makes sense so that was a really cute find and then of course you know how I love my little creamers I fell in love with this little guy oh my goodness he's so adorable 
I love the fact that he's got this cute little lid and he is so adorable. Once again, he's got this cute little <laughs> um, pedestal area. His handle's pretty cute too and of course the little lid. And this one doesn't have any markings on it either, but it's okay. And of course, it does have this cute little finial at the top. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. There you go. I think it's so adorable. So yeah, these little guys together would be so cute. And this too, you can put a, take off the lid and put a little pumpkin on it. Or something like that. Or like a little bottle brush tree. I come Christmas time. Yeah, anyways. Or you know what? Just stack it on top of a... A stack of vintage books. Maybe take the lid off, put a little flower arrangement in it. So cute. So adorable. I love that. And that is included with the first place winner. And I have one more thing to add to the first place winner. And this one, oh, you guys, I'm having a hard time getting away with giving this one away. But I bought it for the giveaway, so I'm going to stick to it and give it away. And it is this right here. Whoa, a gorgeous soup tureen. I love this thing so much, so much. I think it is so adorable. Um, hopefully I do not break it. So anyways, what is not to love about this soup tureen, tell you the truth, but I just love it. Scalloped edge on the bottom, cute little handles, cute little handle on the top. And then, let me see if i put this down, show you the... Um, inside a little better. There you go. Can you see the lid? It's very pretty. Along the outside it's got like this design along the outside. Hopefully you can see that. Probably not. It's probably too hard to show. But there's like a little design that wraps around the handle and then it goes all the way around the outside too. It's like a dotted line and then like some flourishes sort of thing. And then the top kind of looks like little leaves. Love that. The only problem with this whole piece, I keep staring at it thinking maybe there's a chip on it so then I won't have to get rid of it. Well, I did find a teeny tiny little chip right here on the inside of the lip of the plate. So, I don't think that's a big deal, but otherwise it's in pretty good condition. The inside of the bottom is starting to craze pretty well and turn brown which I think is cool. I wish it was more brown like this on the outside. Well, the outside is not. It's definitely got some crazing going on on it for sure, which I think is absolutely lovely. And let's see, the bottom says Iris W.S. Georgie. I don't know, I've never heard of that before. But that's okay because I love soup trains and this it's the bill. Oh, all right. There we go. Just absolutely lovely. So that is the last item that is included with the first place giveaway. All right. So that is it for the giveaway. We got the first place and we got the second place winner. And I had so much fun with this. I hope you guys found something in the mix of this that you enjoy and that are excited to possibly win because I had so much fun finding things and shopping and oh it was just a hoot. I loved it so much. I loved it so much that if this one goes very well I may do it again very soon because it's so much fun. But anyways. <laughs> so if you are interested in entering to win the giveaway make sure that you are first a subscriber and second make sure that you leave a comment down below and let me know what one item you look for every single time you go thrifting and that you're always hoping to find. So make sure you do both those things by August 29th. And next Thursday, which will be August 30th, I will announce the winner along with um, next week's Thrift Store Thursday. So, any questions? I hope I've answered all your questions. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. I will make sure to try to answer that. And make sure that you comment and you are subscribed so I can enter you into this giveaway. And I'm so excited and I can't wait to see who wins. So thank you so much for watching today and for 
putting up with this sort of non-traditional giveaway and let me know what you think of the idea of this type of giveaway and if you want me to do any more like this in the future. So I guess that's it and I will see you again next week and I will share the winners then. Alright, bye now!